we're going to do a teriyaki skewers, flooded skewers, that are the, the flooded that we caught the other day. And we're going to serve that on some uh, steamed rice. I'm going to show you how we're going to do that and we're just going to cook it right here on the boat. First thing I need to do is get the rice on. What I've got is some rice that I've pre-washed at home. So I've washed it three times in cold water. And we're just gonna pop this straight into our pot. And it's already swelled up a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do now is put some uh, water in here up to my finger so until it covers my finger. The rice has to be really flat. A little bit of a stir once you get it measured correctly. Now I'm gonna pop a lid on. We're going to bring it to the boil and then once it's come to the boil we can stir it once but don't stir it again. So then we're going to drop the heat down to a slow simmer. So we're going to make our teriyaki dressing now. Really, really easy. Um, four main ingredients is uh, just your plain white sugar. Now we've got some Japanese soy sauce. You can get this from Torino. Um, really is fantastic stuff. The only thing that you need to look at um, when you're buying any type of soy sauce is that it's naturally brewed. It can't be the dark soy sauce either. It's got to be the lighter soy sauce. Uh, Japanese to make the teriyaki. Um, also I've got some mirim here which is a rice vinegar, a sweet rice vinegar and then some sake which is some uh, uh, basically it's our cooking sake. You don't need to spend too much money on, on the sake. You can get this from Torino as well. It's cheap as chips. It's fantastic. And uh, that's it, basically. And I'm going to show you how much we put in now. Okay, so mirim's going in. And we want equal amounts of mirim um, to sake. So around about, say, 30 grams of sugar. And then I need um, 80 mils of the soy sauce. Rice has come to the boil now. Give it a quick stir. So I'm going to put the lid on. Turn it to low. Alright, let's have a look at the rice. We'll see if she's done. Oh, yeah, looks great. You can see all the steam holes are coming up. And um, what I'm going to do now is fluff it up, leave the lid on it, and um, that can just sit and rest. And it's going to be nice and fluffy. So, um, superb, perfect rice. Okay, guys, so uh, teriyaki's starting to boil up now, which is good. Uh, I'm just going to bring it down so it coats the back of this spoon. Teriyaki done. Let's get the fish on. Uh, what I did, I um, took the liberty to skewer these up. So um, this is all the uh, bit of fish that we caught the other day. And I've just skewered them on skewers. So basically filleted it and then taken um, the tail end, which is, this is the tail end. Okay, just through a skewer. And, um, and these are just the, the other bits, which is like the V that we take out and uh, just skewered them on. So they're all ready to rock and roll. Now I don't need to season these because the teriyaki is going to be brushed on top. We've got a heap of skewers here, it's good Dan. Now what teriyaki means, basically the teri in it is, uh, it means that it's glazed and that's what we're doing at the moment. We're going to glaze the meat and ya uh, teriyaki or yaki make basically means to grill. Take oh, maybe a minute to a minute and a half I reckon because uh, it's nice and thin and you don't really want to overcook your flooded. All right, let's get them in the pan. So I've just lightly sprayed the pan with some oil and then in with our fish. I'm gonna brush the fish a little bit more teriyaki goes over the top. So I'm just going to turn the skewers, they're looking pretty good. Look at that. Nice glaze on them. And that's what we want. Wow. And they're done. Just going to serve them on our rice and then we've got lunch. So what I'm doing is here, I've got a, a little plastic container that I've got left over. We're just going to 
push the rice in there and you can see how beautiful and fluffy that rice is wow that's awesome push it down fairly hard we just want to plonk our rice straight on top like so take that off beautiful even gives us a nice little cool little uh, ring around there that's just one of those um, hummus tubs <laughs> all right let's get this off now forward to this let me tell you okay guys just a little bit of garnish that we've got there some coriander and a little bit of um, red capsicum how good does that look and also I'm just making a little bit of glaze here to go over the top beautiful little glaze and then just a nice little glaze down the plate like so there we go guys teriyaki flooded Get some steamed rice. Beautiful on a day like today. There we go, Danielle. Beautiful teriyaki. Yum, you know, in the shade, eh? It's so hot out here. Must be Thank you. Degrees, is it? It's bloody hot. Oh, yeah. that looks nice. Let's have a taste. Yep. Let's have a taste. That's that flooded we got the other day. Oh, yum. Good. Really nice. Well Beautiful. Well, <laughs> let's enjoy. Yum. Well guys, that's all we've got time for this week. Danielle's enjoying a flooded and I'll be having a little bit in a minute. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next week, every Friday here at The Hook and The Cook. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. Give us a big thumbs up if you like this video. And uh, we'll see you next week, hopefully somewhere on the water. Cheers guys. Bye.